So, Andrian, hi. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to see you again. Yeah. Huh? We are Fresh in, from Moscow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the studio of Adrian Ries, uh, I think one of the most famous Dutch ceramists. And for me, especially, uh, the story of Adrian is very, very interesting. And uh, you are was the one who actually invented the relations between Delft and Zidegen. Is it true? Yeah, yeah, well, that's absolutely true. Can you, maybe it's not the story from the beginning, but can you can we start just from this story because it's a most yeah yeah something yeah, yeah. special it's, it's not about tea but <laughs> <laughs> but it's about something which is really relates to tea if yeah, we talk yeah, about yeah, the course, so. well to, to start um, uh, to start like that um, in 2000 i was invited uh, for a, a wood firing symposium in foshan uh -huh. And uh, the guy who invite, invited me said, okay, let's go together to Jing de Jen. Uh -huh. And uh, so I went there and I never heard about it. And uh, it was like really at that time in 2000, so 21 mm -hmm. years ago, mm -hmm. no foreigner was coming there, only oh, yeah. maybe a few, you know. And mm -hmm. uh, it was really a remote area and almost mm -hmm. no cars and there was no bridge and we had to take a ferry and the ferry wow. was almost sinking. So it was wow. really, really strange for It me. was like 90s, you say? Or no, 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 2000. 2000, ah, so yeah. more, almost 20, more than 20 years ago? More than 20 years ago, but wow. um, uh, Jing Jan was really behind, as uh -huh. they say, and, and nobody was interested, not yeah. in the history, not whatsoever. But I didn't know, I didn't know the, the history at, at that time. So I went there, I stayed a few days, and it was really crazy for mm -hmm. me. After that, I, I made a long trip uh, to all kinds of places in China. That changed my life, it, it, it changed my world. And I uh -huh. thought, okay, the world is still sleeping, uh -huh. but China is ahead of everything, uh -huh. except Jing the Jen. <laughs> <laughs> but here I want to come every year, every year, and I did. And, mm -hmm. um, I started my own studio in, uh, in Jing Jen in 2006. Mm -hmm. I was really the first artist mm -hmm. who started its own studio in Jing Jen. Like Jen, a foreign, foreign, foreign artist. artist. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I was somehow in contact with a really uh, imported, famous Chinese artist mm -hmm. in, uh, uh, in Shanghai and in Beijing and Qingdao and in Hangzhou. But they all said, what are you doing in mm -hmm. Jing Jen? Yes. And I said, well, it's such a such a special place, place because actually, yeah. it's it's like more than 1000 years history of porcelain and the porcelain comes from that when they invented it and mm -hmm. uh, and it was exported all over the world and in in holland mm -hmm. we 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 copied it mm -hmm. and uh, we're always talking about uh, china that they are yeah. copycats but in fact uh, the the delft blueware uh -huh. was a bad copy especially yeah. in the yeah. beginning yeah. from the the uh, blue and white from jing de jen I didn't um, uh, like start my studio because uh, it were, there were so many artists, but mm -hmm. because there were no artists and there were really professional and great craftsmen. Mm -hmm. And I could learn a lot from these craftsmen mm -hmm. and uh, use their possibilities and use their techniques. And mm -hmm. these, these, these techniques are like founded in so many a hundred years mm -hmm. and really really beautiful but anyway i was uh, uh, I, I came back like five times a year mm -hmm. and i stayed a month or whatsoever in like since 2006, like half of the time I was in China and half of the time I was in China. similar to me, just a little bit later, <laughs> because when I, when I hear your story, I just, yes, <laughs> this guy done something just in different spectrum, but very close to yeah. me, because yeah, yeah. Uh, Jin Jane and uh, tea ceramics is very close to tea culture, it's just a uh, part of tea culture. Oh, so of it's course, of course. Awesome. And, and I was, um, I, I, uh, I, I went to Rietveld Academy mm -hmm. and I went there uh, to go to the ceramic department. But uh, after the first year, I decided to go to the sculpture department. Mm -hmm. And um, the head of the department, uh, ceramic department, was really angry at me because he said, wow. I want you to stay at the ceramic department. Why are you leaving us? Uh, yeah, why are you leaving us? I said, well, don't worry because I'm very interested in, in the material. Yeah. And I will always make ceramics. And yeah. he invited me to come to his personal studio. He teach me glazing and whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And he was very important to me. But an, anyway, when I went to Jing mm -hmm. I, I saw all these techniques, but so special and mm -hmm. so different from the European techniques and mm -hmm. the materials. And the craftsmanship mm -hmm. is such a high level. And 
all the, the industry around the ceramics were still intact. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you want a mold, when you want anything something connected, painted, yeah. when you want a box, so mm -hmm. anything, it's just around the corner. Yeah. And that's why I started my studio there. Mm -hmm. And after a few years, people start to know that this stupid Dutch guy was having his studio. <laughs> Very strange, what he doing yeah, there? What yeah? is he doing here? Why? In, in, in this messy area. Yeah. And um, somehow I, I got in contact with government people and uh -huh. uh, it happened to me many times that a black car was stopping in front of my studio. Yeah. Somebody came out and he said, oh, we, we, you need to come because uh, there is some official meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the beginning I was really proud, yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah. after a while I started to understand yeah. that I was just a puppet. Because yeah, yeah. I, I was a European, I was white, yeah, I was yeah. not Chinese, yeah, and they could show. You see, off. we have some white guy here. <laughs> yeah, we in have our an international area. guy here. Yeah. I didn't understand, and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was good food for me, so that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> yeah. This is a story. But um, like in uh, 2007, eight, uh, no seven, I um, I was in Holland, mm -hmm. and suddenly I got a phone call, mm -hmm. and then a Chinese guy said, "Are you Adrian?" I said, "Yes." Who are you? I said, "I'm with a delegation with the vice mayor from Jingdezhen, and we're visiting Europe." Mm -hmm. And uh, so we are coming to you. I said, well, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> just we are on the way. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. So already on the way, you know. So, and uh, so in half an hour, you're sitting in Amsterdam at my kitchen table. Uh -huh. And we were discussing what to do. And uh -huh. I said, what are you doing here? Yeah, we like to have contact with European cities uh -huh. and also in Holland. And we know that you are doing these exchange projects. Uh -huh. Because at that time I was also working for uh, exhibitions and no, but already uh, doing an exchange program between a city in Holland called uh -huh. Soetermeer, and they have a relationship with shaman. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. uh, so I said, well, anything that has to do with China, I want mm -hmm. to do. So yeah, of yeah, course yeah. I do it. Mm -hmm. And so they knew about it, and they said, can't we have like an exchange program with uh, Soetermeer? I said, well, that sounds stupid. <laughs> I mean must have some background yeah. and uh, we have uh, Delft Blueware in yeah. Holland why not Delft yeah. and they said okay let's do it <laughs> but I didn't have any connections uh -huh. with uh, with Delft and it uh -huh. took me like one and a half year mm -hmm. to to get in real contact with the mayor of Delft mm -hmm. and I had like a presentation about uh, Jingdezhen mm -hmm. and the museum was there and Royal Delft was there didn't they knew about Jingdezhen actually Sorry? I think yes didn't they knew about Jingdezhen uh, they uh, like uh, some some historians I was talking to the head of the museum uh -huh. and she and Understood, uh, but she said, Adrian, you are too early. Uh -huh. And then after a while, she invited. Uh, she said, Okay, I will contact the mayor. He invited me for breakfast. In fact, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. eight o'clock with all these people from the museum, tourist office, uh -huh. uh, and uh, Royal Delft, mm -hmm. and they all came, and nobody believed in it. <laughs> <laughs> nobody believed that they, you except, really accepted. Except the mayor uh -huh. and the head of the museum. Uh -huh. But Royal Delft was not interested. Yeah. And, uh, but somehow uh, the mayor of Delft came, uh, was going that year to China, mm -hmm. uh, in fact to Xi'an, mm -hmm. and he said, okay, I, I come for one and a half day to, uh, uh, to Jingdezhen because uh -huh. I said, please come, please come. Uh -huh. And I was there, he came with a small delegation and I took him apart uh -huh. from the delegation. Uh -huh. And I said, okay, come to my studio and I walk you around in this area with all these craftsmen yeah. and uh, make something in my studio uh -huh. with porcelain. Uh -huh. He never touched clay. <laughs> and then he said, Adrian, you're my man. I'm <laughs> going to arrange. <laughs> and from that moment, uh, we developed this exchange project. Great, and, uh, great story. It was such a, such an interesting time, a actually, wild time. <laughs> actually, something which needs to be connected because it's like motherland of porcelain. It's also Dutch capital of porcelain. Yeah, but <laughs> um, like for for more than um, like 14 years, I also did a presentation for uh, for Delft and for mm -hmm. Holland mm -hmm. at the uh, Jingdezhen International Ceramic Fair, and mm -hmm. people from all over the world are coming to that ceramic fair now. 
mm -hmm. and uh, I started to present Delft and Holland like in 2007 or 2008. Mm -hmm. And all these years I make a booth and contacted the embassy and invited artists mm -hmm. and this and that. And now everybody knows, you mm -hmm. know, it, now it's not uh, also in Holland mm -hmm. uh, like a little bit specialist. They know about Jingle Jin, mm -hmm. they, they know about this uh, relationship. And also in China, mm -hmm. uh, Royal Delft became really popular. Wow, so they <laughs> yeah. built some business, uh, some Yeah, they could, they, they, they could do. And, uh, but um, on the other hand, uh, Royal Delft um, somehow didn't really develop it because uh -huh. it's a small, small company in a uh -huh. way. When they have too much work, it's they, different they, to they manage. Cannot, uh, they cannot deliver. Yeah, if it, if, <laughs> if they will it became famous in China, we need to build few factories more. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's that's really a problem. Yeah. yeah. Because when I came mm -hmm. to to Delft, uh, there were like uh, four or six painters repainting. Mm -hmm. Only in four and six. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I in, think it's uh, a at, big factory, but no, no it's not so big. Wow. And they in, in the years after that they expand a little bit. Mm -hmm. But not enough. Mm -hmm. And when I when I took uh, people from China mm -hmm. to, to Delft, they were expecting a huge industry, a uh, huge yeah, yeah, yeah. and and well, uh, I see some uh, yeah, craftsmen. I had to tell like we have a very strong history and we have really good designers, mm -hmm. but uh, the amount and not big. You cannot compare to China, mm -hmm. and you cannot uh, compare to to Jingdezhen. I mean, mm -hmm. there are maybe. Hundred factories yeah. in, in in or, or maybe hundreds of factories in Jingdezhen only bigger <laughs> than thousands. one Royal Delft, you know. <laughs> I think maybe thousands because we're saying like Dehua, only Dehua have more than thousand factories. Uh, even yeah. if you didn't count no, small no, ones. No, but I mean big or small. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but uh, <laughs> most of these factories are not so famous as Royal Delft. Yeah. So that's the difference. And I said, like. Uh, I mean, you can be enemies, yeah. like everybody against China oh, because it's, it's, uh, it's our cheap, competitors. it's uh, trash, it's <laughs> this and yeah. that. But I said, well, they have the, have the history, they yeah. started this uh, blue and white. And I mean, you can better embrace the enemy mm -hmm. and work together yeah. and uh, use the opportunities mm -hmm. than to fight. Because when you fight China, mm -hmm. you lose it because it's, it's, it's too big, it's too big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so I was even in a, in a, in a European organization about mm -hmm. ceramics mm -hmm. and then you have all these countries mm -hmm. uh, like Spain and Italy and France and England and Germany and this and that. And uh, a lot of countries, they were also not really eager about uh, to, to work with China. I because, think because they're they're afraid, they, afraid. Maybe they didn't <laughs> see the opportunities. Because as you, you are Dutch master, and you came there, and you find a lot of opportunities yeah. uh, to build something, to yeah. receive new, new experience, actually. And uh, yeah, it's maybe they just, just didn't uh, think in this way. They think only in the way yeah. of production yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and and the competition and whatever. Yeah, and already like uh, most of the ceramic cities in Europe already were going down. Uh -huh. it's, it was something like, okay, it was big uh, 100 years ago or mm -hmm. 50 years ago, and mm -hmm. then it was like, like, like this. But um, when you want to survive, yeah. of course, you must innovate. Yes, and you need to think about something, something new. something new, and yeah, yeah, yeah. because amount is not... Is yeah. I uh, mean, but I think to it's make cheap things, it's, it's not it's, it's impossible. I think, I think that the opportunity is to promote uh, uh, local art as a special art and also sell it in China as many many companies do actually already. Maybe oh, already, only. yeah, 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 yeah. And um, there is, of course, there, there are a lot of new rich people uh -huh. in, uh -huh. in, in China and uh, like the, the real ex expensive ceramics mm -hmm. uh, has, has a really good chance. Yeah, in, yeah, yeah. In, well, in really, China. if it's something special, yeah. you don't need to make amounts, you need to make uh, really yeah. art. Make yeah. uh, make a new design, make mm -hmm. something special, mm -hmm. and uh, like the first time I, I showed in uh, at the ceramic fair, I showed mm -hmm. Royal Delft. I, I couldn't sleep the night before mm -hmm. because I brought a master painter uh -huh. from Royal Delft. I bought to I, I brought to Jing. You brought him to there. Oh. Yeah, to 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 do uh, like. Uh, like, like in the booth to, mm -hmm. to, to paint life. Mm -hmm. And I thought, okay, there are so many good painters in Jingdezhen. Mm -hmm. How 
maybe they're just laughing at his <laughs> technique and laughing at what he is doing. I think no. So I thought, oh, maybe this is a big mistake. Mm -hmm. But it was the best thing I could do because most of the booths, mm -hmm. actually all booths, mm -hmm. except my booth, didn't bring somebody to paint live. Uh -huh. So we had so much attention at uh -huh. that ceramic fair Great. and we won the first prize and blah, blah, blah. Great. And um, uh, Chinese painters mm -hmm. and Chinese uh, specialists were so, so interested because it's, it's different cobalt, yes. uh, different way of painting, different way of holding the different brush. Different style. Different, different style. Yeah. And they could recognize all kinds of things from the history. Mm -hmm. So it was like uh, after hundreds of years, suddenly there was this connection again. It was mm -hmm. so beautiful, so mm -hmm. beautiful. Great. Yeah, <laughs> so interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I think it's just, yeah, it's needed we need to change something in our mind and all the time see the opportunities but not the bad things because yeah. from the exchange yeah. you not only give you all the time receive but you need just to be a little bit more open to be ready to receive yeah, yeah so it's, uh, that's that's <laughs> why i like uh, traveling and that's yeah. why i like uh, not only to go to another country but <laughs> to work there yeah. so, and then you find out uh, how people are and then you find out what the difference is and mm -hmm. And don't think that you are better because mm -hmm. there is always somebody else much better than you <laughs> are. <laughs> but try to learn a little bit, yeah, uh, yeah. give a little bit and take a little bit. And so, uh, so interesting, so interesting. And back to the beginning, uh, you was a physiotherapist, as I remember. Ah. How did you <laughs> get back to how did you get to ceramics after that? Uh, well, I... Uh, <laughs> 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 we can cut it. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. No, as, as a child, um, yeah. I started to make ceramics when I was 12. Wow. And um, I, uh, I was in a special school and uh, supposed to be artist. And, so it's uh, art school, kind uh, of art some school? Some uh, pre-art school. Uh -huh. And in that time, I, uh, I developed like, uh, I was like against art. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, okay, like, like art, you can do as a hobby. Ah. And uh, you must something uh, to do something really good in life. More professional, and, uh, more organized. I think art is I very professional. <laughs> <laughs> but for that but, time, you yeah. Didn't for think that so. time, <laughs> I, I thought like um, you must do something for mankind. Uh -huh. And um, well, at the end, it's a too long story. But I decided to to, to study physical therapy and. Mm -hmm. I, I studied and I, I, I worked three and a half years in the field. First I went to Western Africa because I thought oh. in, in Holland it's, it's too developed, uh -huh. they, they don't need it, so let's try. So you lived there? You lived no, I was there for like four months, but, oh, I, but uh, also I, 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 it was a great experience, <laughs> but I, I immediately thought I'm not at the right place. Uh -huh. So they also don't need me there. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's uh, I, I, no. I, I love the people. I love the culture, but not to work there. Mm -hmm. And um, they don't need white people to mm -hmm. to yeah. do that. I mean, it's it's stupid. Mm -hmm. It's uh, should we have be enough local doctors or whatever. No, it's it's it's, diff it's very complicated. Mm -hmm. But um, it was Tanzania or Kenya? No, or? Western Africa. I was in Togo in Ghana. Oh, and. Uh, and uh, like black people are telling me that white people are, were better than, than black people. And I said, well, that's not why I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here just like a human to human, yeah, not yeah. to talk about that kind of things. Mm -hmm. And I thought the whole mindset after yes. uh, colonialism, yes. uh, to so big and the whole system totally ruined uh, society. Mm -hmm. And at that time I, I felt like kick all the white people out of Africa <laughs> and, and let them do it themselves yeah. and to, to, to bring in money all the time mm -hmm. and white people who know better, mm -hmm. it's totally a wrong idea, yeah. totally a wrong idea. But that's a different story. Yeah, it's a different story, it's a very complicated and controversial story. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay, but, it's okay. Uh, but, uh, it's, but, yeah, I mean, all people are different, but it's so interesting, so beautiful, mm -hmm. and work together and do things together and respect each other. That's that's important. That's important thing. That's that's about life. Yeah, I, I can learn about all kind of mm -hmm. cultures and, and people. I, I'm not the one who knows yeah. better. Yeah, you're someone who really open. 
<laughs> yeah, try to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially, <laughs> I think that China also, for, for my own experience, because I also spent like half of year during 10 years all the time in China and traveling, and I think that it's, you're learning from this uh, experience how to be more open. From my side, from my side, it was like all the time I'm studying, and, and China is very, China is very different. Mm. Uh, very diverse in in any in anything actually in the yeah. culture music food uh, yeah, that's art a big, big country. it's <laughs> like yeah it's like other yeah. world and then yeah. you just start discovering you can discover it all the time maybe yeah. even if you just arrive only in the gen I think each year you arrive and you see like wow it's a new place yeah you yeah. have the experience it's, it's like when you go to China and uh, when I talk to people they say oh, okay we want to go to China I said mm. how many weeks they say well three weeks <laughs> I said three weeks what do you want to do and then they say I want to go to to Beijing forbidden city mm -hmm. I want to see the war and I want to see and to see the terracotta like soldiers. <laughs> want to go to Chengdu to see the pandas I want to go to the south I want to Shanghai and this and that I said uh, good luck <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> three weeks it's only I mean, for one when, place <laughs> when I go to Jingnezhen and I'm already going there for for 20 years mm -hmm. every time when I take a different street when I go around the corner I see something new mm -hmm. so you don't have to explore the whole country. Actually, it's yeah. enough. <laughs> Actually. Yeah. Even me, I just I travel it a lot, but only for tea and ceramic places. Yeah. Yeah. And I realized if even only will work on this, all my life will not enough to yeah. found like 10% yeah. of yeah. I need actually. Well, that's because also a thing like um, I, I like to 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 work together with craftsmen, mm -hmm. and also when. A craftsman is working on my piece mm -hmm. or with me. I, I like his stamp, so mm -hmm. that people can see mm -hmm. Adrian Reis made it, uh -huh. but in cooperation with this craftsman, uh -huh. because that's my thing, you know. That's <laughs> that's, that's the beauty, and so yeah, it makes it very. But back to physical therapy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I was working mm -hmm. and then well, personal things happened in my life and mm -hmm. then I thought okay I want to quit everything and I want mm -hmm. to make a restart mm -hmm. so I stopped my job mm -hmm. and I, uh, I, I left my house I left my relationship mm -hmm. and uh, with nothing from scratch so uh, just I, was an open field <laughs> yeah I, I, I just went to day school uh, to the Rietveld to the art academy and mm -hmm. for five years and uh, it was like okay I just want uh, yeah I, I want to to be artist mm -hmm. I, I tried and I did the, the really social thing mm -hmm. And after my experience of this and that, I, uh, I, 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 I try to do the most personal and uh, most, most deepest personal thing I can imagine. Mm -hmm. And nobody's waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's... The, the so you, you go as a student uh, for f studying art for five years. So yes. you, you was maybe like oldest student in the... I, I was <laughs> uh, about 10 years older than most of the students, wow. yeah. Great. between seven and ten years and, uh, and and I loved it I mean I was it was for me it was like paradise because mm -hmm. I could go to school again mm -hmm. and so when when another student was like oh, I'm, I don't feel well I, I, I never understood it. I said, well, you, 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 you don't use your time well You're in paradise you can create <laughs> yeah. anything so it was for me like such a great time to be five years in school again and I worked Ten uh -huh. times harder than uh -huh. I do now. <laughs> what do you think was your most um, impressions or most inspiring projects for your for your ceramic career? I think maybe it's a lot, but uh, what do you say, say? Like top three or top something, which is why well, in in uh, difficult to say. But yes. um, for me, um, the ceramics uh, or my work, mm -hmm. um, uh, but uh, I I don't. Normally, I, I, I just say I'm an artist and, mm -hmm. and I, I studied sculpture, and, mm -hmm. uh, but I use ceramics mm -hmm. uh, as a material. Mm -hmm. so it's, uh, but it, it brought me all over the world. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's for me is like uh, the thing I always wanted. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so it's just like, oh, oh, it's like a way. It's not the, you. It's only. not like one thing. It's yeah. like um, I, I like to be invited as a guest teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it brought me to Japan and to mm -hmm. America and to mm -hmm. Germany and to mm -hmm. Finland and 
whatever, yeah. you know, and in Holland. And mm. always like short time. Uh -huh. So it's, uh, I don't like to be a teacher. Uh -huh. uh, I like to, to make a project and, uh -huh. and to, to change things in a short while. Mm. And, uh, and, and uh, like I try to do something the students didn't expect. Uh -huh. and normally don't do. Like in, in China, um, I was uh, at the university and I noticed that the students were never going out. Oh, well, just just from time. books, just from books and the computer. And, and then I, I, I said, okay, do this and that. And, and then they come with a presentation and the presentation was great. Mm -hmm. I said, wow, how did you do it? Mm -hmm. I just took it from the internet. <laughs> <laughs> but I never left. The campus, they never yeah. left the room, you know, it's... Uh, and then I said, oh, okay, we're going to do something in public space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to, uh, do you have a bicycle? Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, we rent a bicycle, or I arrange. We, and then we go bike around the city, and then we choose a place in the city, we're going to do this and that. Mm -hmm. And they were totally shocked, yeah, yeah, totally yeah. shocked. Or I said, you well... Take them out of the system. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, what are we going to do, the, what are you going to do this afternoon? Wow, well, we, we, we have to study. Okay, well, let's go to the beach. <laughs> so yeah. to free your mind, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, at the moment that uh, they are used mm -hmm. to your system, mm -hmm. and because then the attention is changing again, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then you leave. <laughs> yes, so no, now it became a little bit more difficult because uh, for that time when you established your studio, mm. and now it's a little bit more pol polarized and uh, politicized in some points, especially in China, and yeah. uh, maybe it's difficult with education with the, like cross-cultural exchanges. I don't know how it be after no, Corona. I, I think after Corona, yeah. I think that's still possible. But, uh, but yeah, it's just a little yeah, bit different. Politics is, is a bigger issue now. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, like uh, the, the first 10 years in China, mm -hmm. uh, when people said, oh, how is communism or how is socialism? Or how is it? They said, well, <laughs> China is the most uh, yeah. capitalist system yes. I've ever seen. <laughs> Much more and than here. It's <laughs> like, it must be something like the wild, wild west uh, yeah. for a long time ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because everything was possible yeah. and, and no regulations mm -hmm. and no this and that. And mm -hmm. Now it's becoming more and more, more and more regulated. tight. So yeah, that, that's yeah. different. Maybe it's not... Uh, attract so much uh, attention of our what we are doing actually but more for like other sectors of economy but yeah I also here because I also two years was not in China and I hear a lot of different signals about uh, yeah, how things change yeah. it I, I think now. when because my house is empty in China <laughs> 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 my studio is yeah. uh, is now not working yeah. so I, I'm I, I'm lucky that somebody <laughs> is taking care of it but uh, and I'm paying rent <laughs> so <laughs> it's my <laughs> but um, well I'm, I'm sure that when uh, I'm when I'm able to go back mm -hmm. that uh, of course I can work and mm -hmm. I, I, I'm I'm never very much into politics. Yeah, it's, it's not something. my way of dealing with yeah. life or yeah. dealing with art. So yeah. it's uh, and like when you want an exchange between countries, mm -hmm. two things are very nice to do. Mm -hmm. uh, opens really most of the doors, mm -hmm. and that's art and mm -hmm. it's sport. And when you're doing other things, then economy and uh, and politics are involved. It's much more difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually what I'm feeling. I'm, I'm not into sports, which is why I'm on art, <laughs> music, and something which actually didn't need a translation. Yeah, I think this exactly. is the way. It's a different language. You see or yeah. you listen, yeah, and you yeah, yeah. it's a different language, and you understand. Yeah. And you feel very connection. nicely said. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's I agree. I agree. Yeah, this is, yeah. and. Uh, we uh, have a great idea what we want to create together. And can you tell about your last project uh, with Hopper? It's something ah. different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of yeah. course. That's uh, last year mm -hmm. um, uh, in Amsterdam, mm -hmm. um, something happened, mm -hmm. and it had to do with uh, so-called racism. Mm -hmm. It's like um, in the old days when I was a small kid mm -hmm. and I, I was born in Amsterdam, mm -hmm. 
like above drugstores, mm -hmm. uh, you could see like uh, portraits. Mm -hmm. And most of these uh, portraits they have a really strange uh, expression, mm -hmm. a little bit angry, a little bit like ah, and, and emotional, emotional mm -hmm. and uh, ugly and uh, a little bit frightening mm -hmm. and sticking the tongue out. And uh, it's, uh, we call it in Dutch, we call it gaper. Mm -hmm. And it's like a sign for a drugstore mm -hmm. um, and already for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. It has a long, long tradition because in the old days, mm -hmm. uh, houses and, and stores didn't have a name or didn't have a number. A lot of uh, people can't read actually. Uh, and and just that, need that, to recognize. That, that's true. And, and like a strange face with, uh, with a tongue out and uh, many times a pill on, uh, mm -hmm. uh, on the tongue. Uh, that was a sign, okay, there I can buy medicine. Mm -hmm. And um, as a kid, I could still see several uh, in my area. I was mm -hmm. born in the middle, uh, in the old center of Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, this last year spring, um, one of the last gapers, mm -hmm. <laughs> joiners, mm -hmm. were taken away mm -hmm. because it was a black figure mm -hmm. and it looked like Zwarte Piet. Ah. And uh, so some people said, well, this is uh, racism and this and that. And I can imagine, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, in fact, it, it has a different history. It's it has like nothing to do years with racism. History, though, yeah. It has to do with uh, like a sign mm -hmm. that uh, you, could, uh, you can buy medicine there. Mm -hmm. And uh, because in the old days from the Middle East, etc. Uh, the medicines and, and the ingredients were coming from the Middle East mm. and, and so that kind of North areas. Africa also, yeah. Yeah, so, um, but, okay, people are talking about uh, Swarte Piet eh, with uh, Santa Claus, his helper, and that's racism. So the owner from the building took that sculpture away. Mm -hmm. And then I thought like, whoa, that's, that's really a pity because uh, in the old days there were many Mm -hmm. in Amsterdam and, mm -hmm. and hundreds in, mm -hmm. in Holland. And it's in a way a typical Dutch uh, tradition. Mm -hmm. uh, for me sculpture is important and, mm -hmm. and ornaments and mm -hmm. I thought why not make a new one? <laughs> <laughs> it was a crazy yeah. idea. And uh, it was uh, in fact also because uh, in 2019-2020 in uh, Museum Beeld en Zee, Sculptures by the Sea, a museum, the only sculpture museum in Holland mm -hmm. uh, had a big show mm -hmm. and in one room I had like uh, 34 portraits, this kind oh. of strange, uh -huh. ugly, expressive portraits. Mm -hmm. And um, the director from the museum uh, wrote a beautiful article and mm -hmm. uh, he called my, my sculptures, my portraits, he called Gapers. Ah. Uh, because he said, well, he was born in the old city and probably he saw these things uh, when he was, was a kid. He was inspired by this and, uh, and, and um, It's true that I always have pictures in my studio mm -hmm. about these Gapers and mm -hmm. maybe he saw, maybe he heard from me. But anyway, he named my <laughs> my sculptures, <laughs> Gapers, <laughs> and uh, because I also put them high on the walls. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so I, I also have to thank him for that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I was brave enough uh, mm -hmm. to, uh, to go to this store and mm -hmm. I said, well, I'm a sculptor, I'm from the city of Amsterdam, I was raised and born here, and now uh, your sculpture is gone again, can I make a new one? <laughs> and um, I, I, I got in contact with the owner from the shop and I got in contact with the owner from the building mm -hmm. and they came to my studio and they said mm -hmm. they, they were interested. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I said, don't worry about the money, mm -hmm. I arrange mm -hmm. because I don't want to talk about money. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I did <laughs> and uh, I started to make one mm -hmm. and uh, then I showed pictures to the owner mm -hmm. and he said, well, this still looks a little bit like a traditional one, mm -hmm. just go your own way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. make something uh, completely different. Make something different. totally <laughs> what you like to make. Mm -hmm. And I said, do I really have like, uh, can I do whatever I want? Yeah. I said, yeah, 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 go, go, go. <laughs> so I made and um, so it was installed um, in October mm -hmm. and uh, we had a pretty good, uh, good uh, PR <laughs> yeah, 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 it and it was in every newspaper mm -hmm. and uh, it so much news attention mm -hmm. and I was so happy about that. Mm -hmm. 
and luckily enough uh, not about racism or this or that mm -hmm. but more like how does it look like and is it a woman or a man how and tradition and can be continued in our yeah. way and also and to keep tradition but yeah, uh, yeah. And, and that's what i wanted mm -hmm. uh, not to talk about racism mm -hmm. but to talk about uh, sculpture and about ornaments and and to combine contemporary art with the tradition mm -hmm. to make this tradition like can go on again mm -hmm. and, and in a new life, in, mm -hmm. a, in a new area, in mm -hmm. a new time. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what I'm, that's yeah. what I try to do. And uh, I, I got so much positive <laughs> response. Mm -hmm. And then you came on my way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Tineke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so somebody called me, a friend of my Tineke, yeah. and said, well, there is a Russian guy and he has tea shops and this and that, and uh, maybe it's interesting for your wife, uh, but uh, maybe you also have a look. <laughs> So I came to your tea shop yeah. and I was, I thought, okay, I'm not so interested, uh, but maybe nice for my wife. Uh -huh. And uh, then you showed me some pictures from uh -huh. Georgia and yeah. from your father. And then I saw him uh, standing in front of uh, a wooden house. Yeah, and yeah. I said, well, this is, I want to go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we still have a plan. <laughs> yeah, we still have a plan. And uh, then I was talking about Karelia mm -hmm. uh, and that I went to Kishi and uh, all that kind of thing. So we had something to talk about. Yeah. And then you came to my studio. And before you came to my studio, I thought, well, what to do with this guy? Yeah. Because uh, I'm not interested in making tea cups or yeah, 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 yeah. whatsoever. That's not really my area. Yeah, yeah. And then I thought, I, I just had this successful project with uh, the Gaper, mm -hmm. and he just started the shop. Mm -hmm. Why not propose to him yeah. to make one for his shop? Yeah, yeah. And then I was lucky enough that you yeah, were enthusiastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we will have a very special project uh, with Adrian and uh, the place a sculpture, a uh, sign uh, mm. with, with, with each other in May in his own way, but I believe it will be great because other have a great experience in China and feel the connection between uh, Chinese tradition and tea and what we are doing. And we actually drink good tea here, which is very <laughs> important. <laughs> it's really rarely that we film somewhere and uh, uh, it's not uh, my place and we didn't drink good tea. So I, I really value that. <laughs> Thank you. And, yeah, so this is why we decided to make something and maybe we can show already what we how we start or we'll do it later when the uh, uh, I can just show a yeah, little yeah, bit yeah. but there's nothing to show but yeah. I just started yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but we can show the start uh, yeah okay so here uh, we want uh, Adrian will show some of his very special works and I think this one maybe was a connection with your physiotherapy yeah. practice of course, this is a human body, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a male. Mm -hmm. And uh, like most statues, mm -hmm. uh, when it's like naked or whatever, it's mm -hmm. it's often it's yeah. uh, it, it's a female. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, a sculpture like this, also the sculpture museum bought, mm -hmm. and the uh, director said and the curator said because it's a man mm -hmm. and uh, so that's that's already different mm -hmm. uh, but if you look closely mm -hmm. it's it's not it looks like a real body and this and that but it has elements yes. which are totally not uh, not real yeah, yeah, yeah and that's always the way i work i i know as a physical therapist uh, I, I know too much about the human body uh -huh. so to make to make it, I will. Mm -hmm. It will never be what I want mm -hmm. or what I like. So mm -hmm. I always change it in a way. Mm -hmm. And uh, also this uh, this muscular parts. And this, and this in this place, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's uh, that that kind of things is uh, is of course different. Um, why I like to show it mm -hmm. is because uh, this is a typical a technique mm -hmm. I can only do in Jingle Jam. Uh -huh. like it's it's porcelain uh -huh. uh, it's it's uh, it's a sort of porcelain it's a sculpture porcelain so i made the original i made solid mm -hmm. and i have to make a mold and mm -hmm. then it has to be pressed again then i work on it again mm -hmm. um, so that's the way i can use uh, porcelain mm -hmm. um, but not only that um, it's a little bit uh, 
thickly made mm -hmm. so that you can carve in it. I just came up with the idea to use uh, the Amsterdam logo mm -hmm. and uh, to, to use this um, and with uh, Dutch words. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's all about uh, what Amsterdam is and, mm -hmm. and where the people stands for. Mm -hmm. This, I, it's an original it's an original logo in a way from Amsterdam. So I brought it to China mm -hmm. and then I enlarged it and I put it on with mm -hmm. just with a pencil. Mm -hmm. And then I asked a craftsman mm -hmm. to come and to carve it. So this is a Chinese uh, master uh, carve it, carve your yes, sculpture. And mm -hmm. uh, the guy was uh, carving mm -hmm. for a whole week. Wow. <laughs> from nine o'clock till six o'clock wow. in the evening, carving, 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 carving. So to, to get this yes, so relief, like, yeah. yeah. and um, that's something, uh, a technique that you cannot find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah especially it's not on very that good high level, level yeah, in, yeah. In, in Holland. So, mm -hmm. uh, and, and this is a nice example mm -hmm. why I work in China mm -hmm. because the material mm -hmm. you cannot find in uh, in, in Europe, mm -hmm. also in France mm -hmm. or Germany or England. Mm -hmm. The porcelain in Jingdezhen is way better, mm -hmm. and you can make uh, much uh, larger pieces. You need to bring some porcelain <laughs> from China, I think it's possible. <laughs> but but also like this carving, <laughs> like a master carving mm -hmm. who is working a week for you. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine how much it will cost? <laughs> yes. But even the cost is not like important. Yeah. But it's they are just not available and. Mm -hmm they don't want to work with you. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, the most simple thing like a malt maker. To mm -hmm. find a malt maker in Holland, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's almost impossible. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and in China, it's just around my corner. Yeah, uh, yeah. When, when I make the piece... Which, and which kind of malt do you need? There's like streets of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, but it's like um, opposite of my studio. There's mm -hmm. the malt maker, uh, mm -hmm. Joe Shifu. And uh, already when I'm working on mm -hmm. it, he says, uh, when you're ready, I want to make the mold for you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, uh, that, that makes it so easy. This, is, uh, this shape, I think, is one of your most recognizable artworks because you also make, uh, maybe I will take from here, like uh, bottles or some other yeah, objects with also similar design. This is design. Uh, something I, I normally uh, I don't do. Uh -huh. But uh, when I had this big exhibition uh -huh. in, in the Sculpture Museum, I want uh -huh. to make something uh, for a reasonable price in, mm -hmm. in a museum shop. Uh -huh. And then I started, uh, came up with the idea to, uh -huh. to, to sell it for a very low price, just like cost price. And, uh -huh. uh, in, only, in only for this event, yeah, actually. For, so yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and, and some, some leftovers uh, mm -hmm. I just uh, took to my studio uh -huh. and uh, people can uh -huh. still buy. Uh -huh. But also this uh, has, has a story because I, I had to make a small one mm -hmm. and I, 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 I just didn't like to make a small one from, from the big one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went to, uh, to a Chinese sculptor mm -hmm. and I said, well, here is a big one mm -hmm. and please make a small one. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of artists work that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, so after a week I came to him and he said, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not going well. I said, mm -hmm. why not? It's easy, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> for you. I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But somehow he, he couldn't figure out. Because it it's something completely different what we are regularly doing. Yeah, actually. and, and it, uh, it was absolutely not my taste. So in his studio, I just reworked on it mm -hmm. until it was my taste. Mm -hmm. And so it was also a, corpora a corporation again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that made it nice. And uh, so yeah. that's also a history. So what's, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's, uh, it, it's just a, a, small, a small figure and mm -hmm. uh, very roughly made. And mm -hmm. I made it in, uh, in Fuping. Mm -hmm. And Fuping is, is near Xi'an. Mm -hmm. And there is a big factory making uh, like industrial ceramics, mm -hmm. rough clay. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the place also has a history about ceramics. And you have uh, craftsmen working in a very typical way. Mm -hmm. And I was invited to work there and I went there in 2002 and after that in 2008. And uh, there, was, uh, there was an old lady mm -hmm. and uh, as they call not an artist but a craftsman, but mm -hmm. very famous in mm -hmm. the ceramic field in, mm -hmm. uh, in China and making traditional stuff. I was a little bit like tired of not having many ideas and mm -hmm. I quickly made uh, mm -hmm. Like a small puppet and uh, like a man or like maybe 
some animal with a penis, big penis and mm -hmm. this and that. And oh. I went to the lady and I said, can you please uh, put your traditional decorations on it? Mm -hmm. And because she liked me and uh -huh. she laughed at me, <laughs> what to do with this? <laughs> and she said, okay, okay, I will do. And uh, so she put these flowers on <laughs> and all these, these needle things mm -hmm. and put patterns and and, and then she she put like uh, uh, on the penis uh, she put uh, the cock <laughs> 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 and because it has some tradition also in China mm -hmm. and here you see like how um, how I deeply uh, uh, appreciated her work because mm -hmm. it made my mm -hmm. quick easy work mm -hmm. suddenly very interesting for me mm -hmm. because uh, like uh, some yeah, just modern, easy ideas I did and she put her traditional things on it and I always tell people like, okay, when when the building is collapsing, when mm -hmm. the house is on fire, what do you want to take with you? <laughs> I also tell it to students, <laughs> yeah. uh, like, what's the most important thing? And I'm probably I would take, take this, this piece with me <laughs> because yes. I like it so much. And, uh, That's great. Yeah. Let's so. have an energy, like, and, uh, and also very special, completely different. What I what yeah. I love in your art, it's maybe some some objects is not like my cup of tea, but I in any object I see something, expression and uh, like own feeling of uh, mm. the material, yeah, and, like, and it's so it's very different. Yeah, all these things I have a story, and <laughs> uh, I I also. Um, I don't mind if people like it or don't mind uh, if I don't like, like it or whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, when people don't react on it, mm -hmm. then I have a problem. Then I say, <laughs> okay, then it's not a really good piece. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But if they say Any it's ugly, it's okay. Great, it's, it's reaction. <laughs> it's reaction. <laughs> yeah, so. And it's uh, it's wood fired. So mm -hmm. it's. Uh, yeah, I see ash yeah. a lot. So it's uh, also like uh, why I went to, to the east mm -hmm. to, to, to wood firing. And mm -hmm. I did it on several places in mm -hmm. China mm -hmm. and in Taiwan and in mm -hmm. Korea and in Japan. Mm -hmm. And so I have, as a Dutchman, I have some experience. <laughs> and <That's> great. <laughs> and that brings back uh, also uh, our connection because when you told me that yeah. you have a uh, wood firing kiln. A wood yeah. firing kiln yeah, yeah. Two wood firing kills yeah, or yeah, three, maybe yeah. I don't two. know. For now, it's still uh, in, in, in Moscow. I said, Why? Wow, I need to go there because I was never wood firing in, in Russia. Russia. <laughs> in so, Russia. you have new the new location. <laughs> I okay. hope we will, anyway. Yeah. So, this is a, really something special. <laughs> uh, why do you like this piece? Tell me. I, I like because it's uh, of, from behind. If you didn't uh, look at the face, if you like look on this place, you see the traditional Chinese uh, warrior, which mm. is very famous uh, sculpture actually, yeah. and a lot of copies, a lot of handmade, and also cheap copies all around China. But mostly in Xinjiang, when you see this style of uh, painting uh, and uh, this size, I just, yeah, I will turn and I will see the Chinese warrior with a beard. Actually, you have a beard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the, all the rest is something completely different. So you yeah. just change it to the Christ face. Yeah, uh, it's, it's um, it, like uh, everything has a story, I said. <laughs> like um, uh, the lady, Li mm -hmm. Yayi, mm -hmm. uh, Aunt Li, mm -hmm. who, is, um, who I, I'm working with already since 2004, actually, oh. before I had a studio. And, but since I have my studio in Jingdi in 2006, mm -hmm. she, she takes care of my mm -hmm. studio mm -hmm. and uh, I, I trust her completely and mm -hmm. I depend on her completely <laughs> and that's what I really like because I really can trust her. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes she has ideas for me mm -hmm. and I, I'm always laughing and mm -hmm. uh, don't take it serious mm -hmm. and this and that. But then she came with the uh, old mold she uh -huh. found in the trash. Wow. Uh, and she said, well, this is an old mold and it's this uh, traditional warrior, mm -hmm. maybe something for you. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I have no idea why mm -hmm. it should be interesting for me. <laughs> yeah. But uh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I always want to be polite. And after half a year or something like that, I said, well, maybe you should press mold mm -hmm. and see what comes out. And mm -hmm. a traditional warrior came mm -hmm. out and mm -hmm. then I came up with the idea to make uh, three different pieces, like mm -hmm. the traditional warrior, mm -hmm. then a sculpture in between, mm -hmm. and then a sculpture that's more like influenced uh, mm -hmm. from the Western side. 
again I said to her, okay, press mold it mm -hmm. and make it a little bit thick. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it's really wet, bring it to me and I will rework on it. Mm -hmm. And so I, I changed uh, things completely. Um, and uh, like, uh, l like here, um, I, I put this on mm -hmm. and I put this and I changed the face totally mm -hmm. and the position. Mm -hmm. And I, I gave the, the, yeah, the, the piece, I gave something like ears. Mm -hmm. And for me, these are donkey ears uh -huh. and it's because of uh, the whole story of Christ uh, uh -huh. that he comes yeah, on a donkey, he, yeah, yeah. On a donkey into yeah. Jerusalem. Uh -huh. So I combined the Eastern philosophy with yeah. the Western, Western philosophy. Yeah. And then I thought, okay, I put something typical signs from me that you always yeah. see my fingers in the yeah. clay. And uh, I, I did some funny things because I gave him like uh, wooden shoes. Ah, dash <laughs> which is I didn't recognize yeah. last time. Dash wooden shoes, yeah. great. And uh, this is like an aureole. Uh -huh. And it also has something like uh, funny, like uh, yeah. donkey ears yeah. that yeah. people don't understand. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is like um, also when um, Jesus comes back to Jerusalem, people ah, put, uh, put this palm uh, leaves and the leaves yeah, on, yeah, yeah. On, uh, on the ground that yeah, they can yeah. walk on here was originally was a sword i think or, yeah, or, or, yeah. Or so from a very aggressive yeah. piece um, the, the I, I make it in a really angry warrior yeah. Yeah, to protect peaceful uh, warrior so it's <laughs> it's not for me it's not a warrior anymore yeah. but you have to feel the connection mm -hmm. and then i went to a traditional painter mm -hmm. who is all his life is painting these mm -hmm. warriors and uh, but also some buddhas and things mm -hmm. and i said okay uh, please um, paint on it and the parts you don't know mm -hmm. uh, you don't paint on it and then you wait for me and then maybe together we can come to some <laughs> sort of conclusion mm -hmm. so how this was made mm -hmm. and this of course mm -hmm. and this here and this mm -hmm. and the donkey ears it's all like a different influence mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. i still wanted to keep him doing the traditional stuff mm -hmm. So it turns out to be a very Chinese piece, yeah, yeah, yeah. but with a lot of input from I, If you else. don't <laughs> keep attention and just look like that, you even yeah. didn't recognize uh, exactly, these small exactly. details, yeah, yeah, yeah. even with the face. But, uh, yeah. So there are, there are three, yeah? like uh, in between piece, yeah. and then the Chinese piece, and then yeah. the really... But I uh, like the Dutch uh, yeah. uh, shoes, yeah. it's like... It's a hidden <laughs> funny thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Did, uh, didn't see it last okay, time. Okay, okay. Good, good, great. that's good. <laughs> great, great. <laughs> because uh, when, for, for me, it's like also with this schaper, eh? mm -hmm. also when I make mm -hmm. uh, things in public space, mm -hmm. I always have like hidden, hidden messages. Hidden, yeah, great. So, and I hope like maybe people pass passing it 10 years and after 10 years they suddenly see it something and that would be my, <laughs> my pleasure yeah. if you didn't tell about this I maybe yeah yeah it will because be it has the coloring and the structure yeah. from uh, from a Chinese word so, yeah, yeah. so, so yeah. here is yeah so <laughs> here we are this is a very beginning I, I showed you a picture and then you said, oh, I want to come with a yeah, video camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, okay, then I stopped working on yeah, it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> because yeah, yeah. then you really have the beginning. Uh -huh. And uh, so it's, it's just a pile of clay. Mm -hmm. But that's, uh, that's how I start. Mm -hmm. So it's a very rough way. Mm -hmm. And if you just um, mm -hmm. see the clay and, yeah. and touch it, yeah, it's very rough. Very, very rough. And it's the, the white clay mm -hmm. uh, where they work with in, mm -hmm. uh, in, in The Hague, in the big uh -huh. ceramic studio, where I will uh, glaze and fire the piece. Uh -huh. And that's why I use this clay, uh -huh. because the glazes, they developed there. Mm -hmm. And I developed there for many years, together with the owner. It's a Dutch origin, or not? Uh, it's, it's German clay. German Ge clay. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, because in, uh, in Holland, we only have uh, clay from the river. Uh -huh. It's the end of Europe, uh -huh. so there's a lot of uh, things inside, uh, so it's not white. <laughs> yes, yes. And, but this clay, it's also like a recycled clay, uh -huh. uh, has a lot of uh, chamot and mm -hmm. you can uh, use it for outside and mm -hmm. all the glazes are perfectly fit on, on mm -hmm. this clay. Mm -hmm. And you can make it smooth 
mm -hmm. and on the other hand it's really rough so it's, yeah, it's yeah. very good for outside Some of the roughest uh, chamois i ever <laughs> touched so yeah, like yeah 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 <laughs> and <laughs> like when i took it to china it was like uh, they couldn't believe they said is it's this is this, is, is this is this clay <laughs> is this clay is this ceramics <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, when, so when i work i really work like this uh -huh. to put the clay really um really together so mm -hmm. i i cut it again mm -hmm. yeah, and then i put it like this in all kind of direction mm -hmm. uh, so that i'm sure that uh, there is no space in ah, between yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, it's solid mm -hmm. so it's not a ceramic way of working but yeah. it's, it's really like sculpting and oh. try <laughs> <laughs> i'll try you give me a small piece Okay. Wow. It okay? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> nice to do, huh? <laughs> yeah. So it's also like a kind of a sport when you just yeah. It's it's very physical. Yeah. You you can approach it as uh -huh. as really clay, but when I work on it, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I start <laughs> loving it. <laughs> okay. Then you can see uh, we already work together and then yeah. later mm -hmm. I just going to start to sculpt it mm -hmm. and also this is like it's really physical so mm -hmm. first let's yeah, uh, so try it's try so it's like oh I feel it it's like it's really hard <laughs> <laughs> and yeah this is why yeah I, my friend Andre we with him we work on our wood fire and ceramic he started uh, as a hobby a uh, massage because yeah, he also yeah, yeah. have the same power <laughs> you need to... No, but um, because I was, uh, I, I, yeah, I, I'm massaging already like more than 30 years. <laughs> eh? So I, I have this feeling for me, <laughs> clay is like a body. Yeah. So when, when I'm touching it and I'm <laughs> working on it, <laughs> it it's, it's like a body already. Yeah. And when I don't like it, it's so easy because I just cut. And I start over again. Yeah, so you didn't need so, to throw away. <laughs> you can just change it <laughs> naturally. Yeah. And when, when people like working with a cone eh, like this to build up uh -huh. a piece, uh -huh. then you, you build up that way. And it's already hollow inside. It's mm -hmm. not uh, the way what I, uh, how yeah. I like to work. Yeah. And when I work like this, it's like, and I think, OK, let's see what the, the piece gives to me yeah, yeah, then yeah. i already see a face <laughs> yeah 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 it's already <laughs> it's like, already there i already so see like yes <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, i mean when, when i do this and uh, when i do this it's already something something yeah. and when i do this it already has a mouth and it's full of expression wow that's and great <laughs> you see yeah I and see. it's if you look at my other works, mm. it can be this. <laughs> <You Yeah. know? laughs> it's uh, so that's so 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 nice, so wonderful. Yeah, it's so already. Uh, I even even if you just uh, remove it, I already ah, you destroy <laughs> something because yeah. it's like yeah, already. Yeah. And this looks easy, but it's not easy because it's just uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's it's just uh, then you have like kind of gunfu. Uh -huh. You you <laughs> learned it for twenty years or thirty years, but after that uh, you can create it like uh, very fast. Yeah. But you already know how. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you learned yeah, it for yeah. years. And, and you have to allow allow the, the clay and mm -hmm. the material to tell you a story. Mm -hmm. it, it's like uh, I, I'm not like pushing everything into my 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 work or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. What gives the clay to me? Uh -huh. And already a play. Uh -huh. And uh, to, to leave it mm -hmm. is already interesting. Mm -hmm. And also like a, a sculpture doesn't have to be perfect all the yeah. way. Yeah. It, it, it can also have a weak part or mm -hmm. a part that can question you. Mm -hmm. And then maybe you don't like it today, but mm -hmm. maybe in a few weeks I think, well, that's a really good part. You know? yeah. And now I'm very okay, this is already something, but probably when I enter the studio tomorrow and mm. I see it, it's like, okay, I, I start again. This mm -hmm. is not really what I want, you know? <laughs> okay. And then, yeah, then I really have to start yeah, because yeah. now it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> wow, it's interesting. So that's, that's how, I, how, how I work. It's and, really uh, impressive. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> uh, very physical. Uh, I, I never sit when I work mm -hmm. because I work and I, it's a little bit fighting. It's a little bit it's like a play also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Distance and then you see it and mm -hmm. then you turn it around or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But now it's already, this is already like, I Some think 150, 170 kilograms mm -hmm. of clay. <laughs> so not easy to turn, so I have to work around. <laughs> very possible but that I don't use this as a front mm -hmm. but later I will use this as a front <laughs> just what uh, what it gives to me what it gives to me it's uh, so yeah it's the, uh, the, the Vishamot if it's little bit became a little bit uh, uh, dry you just uh, wet it with water and it's I, I keep it wet and uh, we have the heating on now because uh -huh. you are here yeah, yeah, yeah. but normally I, I don't use it because then it's ah, it, so it's, it's cold at the same time it's covered so it's yeah, yeah. So and also it's a very big pile, so it's not easy to be dried. <laughs> no, not easy to be dried. <laughs> and uh, so when and I use this fine plastic in two <laughs> layers and then rough plastic and then I can keep it for weeks and <laughs> it's no problem. So yeah, good <laughs> establishment. <laughs> okay, so Adrian, thank you a lot for your time and I think we will continue the video with uh, our next steps or the project and also other uh, things, uh, please leave your comments and leave uh, your questions for Adrian maybe for the next time because Adrian has a great background uh, in ceramic and not only ceramic. We just touch a small, <laughs> a small layer of information which is really interesting I think to you as a tea lovers, as a people who love ceramic also. So thank you very much. Really uh, <laughs> shaking your hands. We uh, all have dirty, dirty hands, so it's okay. See you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs>